Hello, everybody. This is Carol speaking. Welcome back, everyone, to our PolyWorks webinar. And today we are talking about how to use these templates to obtain truly universal inspection projects. Let's welcome Joshua Pepper as he is our presenter today. Joshua is a member of the Technical Support Group. And let me remind you that if you have any questions during the webinar, please use the questions panel. I will be monitoring the questions throughout the webinar, and we will have a short Q&A session at the end. And if we don't have time to answer all of the questions, we will get back to you by email. We are recording this webinar, so yes, it will be available for later viewing. But Joshua, it's all yours. Thank you, Carol. In the past, users may have experienced changing conditions and in inspection requirements that has elicited the creation of multiple projects. Today, we will show how we can use piece templates to handle these changes within one single project rather than multiple projects. This will allow us to gain more flexibility in our metrology processes. Today, let's look at three different examples. In the first example before us here, scenario rather, we have a part that is to be manufactured. However, before we begin production of this part, we need a complete thorough inspection of it to verify we have a controlled manufacturing process with a correct milling program and fixture that the part sits on during the milling process. Here before us, we have such a complete inspection such as verifying that we have the correct bolt patterns on our datums shown here, various other features such as checking the diameter of a circle, and other measurement objects such as using calipers to check the different widths of our part, and profile gauges checking the machined fillet radius. We also have control views corresponding to our measurement objects such as the radius checks, the width checks with the calipers, and so on and so forth. And we also have a report of our complete inspection shown here. Looking at this inspection, we can see that this part passes all inspection criteria. And therefore, we are ready to begin with production. Before we begin with production of this part, let's go ahead and create a piece template from this full inspection by going to create new piece templates shown here. Let's give our piece template a name, full inspection. Now that production has begun on this part, quality has set the requirement that we must inspect the critical components every 100 pieces, not the full inspection. This results in a second inspection of workflow. However, we do not want to create an entire new inspection project in PolyWorks, but we can create a partial one easily using piece templates. To do that, let's go ahead and create a new piece. We do not want to launch play inspection because we are not ready to measure our first production part. So let's go ahead and hit create. Now we want to make the changes to fit the partial inspection by removing any measurement objects that do not correspond to the partial inspection, such as my non-critical features, any calipers and profile gauges and the cross sections that those profile gauges are taken from. Let's also go ahead and delete any control views that do not pertain to the partial inspection. And we could also go ahead and make any changes to our report, removing any pages that do not correspond to the partial inspection. Now that we have our partial inspection set up, we are ready to go ahead and perform the inspection by hitting play inspection. Let's go ahead and bring in a scan of our first production run on this part. So our scan will come in, we'll perform the measurements and the alignment, and we can see that our part passes the critical components. Now we are ready to save this piece template as the partial inspection. Now, 
Now, when we create a new piece, I want to draw your attention to source piece, specifically piece template. We can see here, I now have two piece templates to choose from depending on the criteria set during manufacturing of this part. If we need to go back and perform a full inspection, I can easily do that by pulling up the full inspection piece template or to meet the quality requirements of the critical components, the partial inspection. As we can see how easy this was to set up. Let's look at a second scenario where we have received a CAD revision containing a design change. Let me draw your attention to this project here. Here we have another complete inspection of a part we see here with different types of features to measure surfaces, circles, slots, and we have different calipers checking some uh, thicknesses on the CAD surfaces here. Right now, we are making a production part to revision A CAD, and we are about to receive a design change through another CAD revision B. You may ask yourself, why use piece templates for CAD revision? Why not change the current piece to fit the new CAD revision B? Well, we may need to measure future parts under the previous CAD revisions. By using piece templates, we can measure any revision of a part within one single project. Let's take a look at the design changes we are about to receive. The blue arrows on this picture will indicate larger holes made to accommodate larger bolts. Green arrows indicate slot cutouts for weight reduction, and the red arrows indicate thicker CAD surfaces. On our revision A CAD, we had to remedy uh, needing to have thicker surfaces by adding gaskets during the assembly process, and design has decided to make the part itself thicker to remove the need for gas gaskets. Let's go back to Polyworks. So how would we easily use piece templates to create a revision B inspection? Let's go and first save the piece template for the revision A. Now let's go ahead and create a new piece. Once again, we do not want to actually inspect it yet. Now we are ready to go ahead and make the changes to fit revision B. First, let's replace the CAD with our revision B design change CAD. I want to draw your attention to our alignment features, the four circles that I'm going to show here. As we can see, when I replaced my CAD model, the circles from revision A's CAD do not fit the revision B design changes. To correct this, we want to define the nominal components, essentially redefine the nominals. The reason why I want to redefine the nominal components is because I want to maintain all the parametric properties that we have when we first created these circles such as the reports, the control views, and any other properties that are set up within that specific measurement object. If we take a look here on circle four and five, we can see that because the CAD surfaces are raised, we need to also create the circle on the raised circle feature on the CAD itself. So let's go ahead and do that here, and as well as here. With the features now created on our revision B CAD, properly, we are ready to go ahead and inspect this part by using the plate inspection. Let's go ahead and bring in our first production part of the revision B. I'd like to take a minute to point out our calipers that we used to verify that we are achieving the new raised CAD surface thickness on our production part. Now with our inspection set up for revision B, let's go ahead and create our piece template.
Now when we run a new piece, once again, we have the choice between which CAD revision we are to inspect to. So if we ever need to go back and produce a revision A part, perhaps as a replacement part, we could easily pull up that piece template. Let's go ahead and perform an inspection to revision B. And we'll bring in our second run. So now we have a couple different inspections in this project. It might be useful to understand what piece templates were used during what piece inspections. To do that, we can go to tools, go to piece, and simply take a look by adding the source piece template and visualizing which piece template was used for what piece inspection. Up to this point, we have discussed changing our inspection plan to meet the demands of manufacturing. But what if the inspection itself does not need to change, but rather the device we're using for our inspection needs to change? Well, piece templates can be used once again. Allow me to draw your attention to our third project here, which is our third scenario. Here we have a wing jig being measured by a probe and scanner being tracked by tracker A. However, we have another plant using a different tracker, tracker B, for which they do not have a probe and scanner to be tracked by. So they rather need to use different reflectors and adapters such as different nests to measure the same part. Let's create an inspection for each tracker using piece templates to accommodate the realities of both plants. First, let's go ahead and create the piece template for our first tracker, tracker A, and then hit create. Now, let's hit a new piece. Do not launch play inspection. And now we are ready to make the changes so this part can be inspected with tracker B. First, I want to draw your attention to the surface shown here. This surface was measured with tracker A using a scanner, as I mentioned, and we don't have that access accessibility on tracker B. Let's go ahead and change the properties of surface one to not be extracted through scan, but rather measured with reflectors. So I'll go to measurement, switch to probe, and change my tool type to reflector, and I can choose which reflector I will need to use, as well as the probing mode that I would want to use on that surface, and hit apply. I could also continue doing that on any other features, such as my circles. And for those of you that think this is um, something that uh, is not something you would normally do, it's pretty easy just to go into the properties and just switch from probe to reflector, and we can just pick any reflector in the probing mode to do. And I could also continue that with my planes or any other measurement features that I have. I also want to go ahead and remove the scan taken using tracker A. As I mentioned, tracker B does not work with a scanner, so we're just going to go ahead and remove our scan because we will not need it. I want to point out that we will be using simulation mode uh, because I don't have access to a tracker before us. So let's go ahead and play the inspection. And we would be able to measure this part very easily with tracker B. And now we are ready to go ahead and create a new piece template for tracker B. And once again, when I go create a new piece, I can choose between which tracker I am using to perform my inspection. With these three scenarios shown today, we can see how piece templates can be used to easily adjust our inspection to fit any scenario within one project rather than multiple projects. This is the power of universality within PolyWorks. To learn more about additional powers within PolyWorks, visit our YouTube channel to watch our 2018 conference workshop to unlock the full potential of PolyWorks Universal Platform. Thank you.
Thank you, Joshua. And we do have a few questions that uh, are coming in. Uh, let's go with the first one. Uh, do peace templates affect SPC? They do not. There is no impact of the peace templates on SPC. SPC will behave as we are used to. Okay, second question. Um, how do I know if a project contains peace templates? Where do I check great, that? Great question. Uh, there's two different places we can do that. The first is in our pull down under the tree view. We can see any piece templates right here within our project, such as P, uh, the pieces itself or the piece templates. I also want to direct your attention to the project properties. And here we can see any of the piece templates set up. And this is also where we can go if I ever need to remove a piece template by just hitting the delete button. All right. Thank you, Joshua. And this is all the time that we have for the questions. So yes, this webinar has been recorded. It will be available on the InnovMetric software website. Navigate to the support section. It will also be available on the InnovMetric software channel on YouTube. And our next webinar is about aligning symmetrical parts by balancing deviations. And it is scheduled for June 14, 2018. So thank you everybody for joining us this morning. And we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.